We believe hearing is one of your most powerful senses, but for some reason we don't think about it that much. So we really started to think about, can we give people more control over their ears? Because I think we forget that your ears, by processing audio, there's a lot of uh, collateral to that. You're causing ear fatigue, you might not be able to concentrate as much, and frankly, in a lot of environments, it detracts from that experience. When we started creating here, we tried to take that same concept to an even more dynamic level and saying, hey, what if we could give people much more dynamic control over how they hear the world and allow them to actually tap into the potential of their hearing? Unlike headphones, which simply transfer music from your device, the Hear Active Listening System is all about changing the way you experience live audio. The device uses a Bluetooth connection and lets you control the sound around you via their app. I never really tried or heard of augmented audio before I visited Doppler's lab to experience Hear for the first time. Put this in your left ear, so okay. the bud just goes in just like that. It should just rest right in your ear. So people learn that I don't know my left, my right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just details, right? And then that's for your right ear. Okay. They like fit in much e easier than I expected. Yeah, so okay. the first thing I can do is I can turn up the volume on your whole world. Okay, cool. Right? I can turn it down. It's a drastic change. Yes. And so where it gets really drastic though is if I turn on echo, <laughs> <laughs> your whole world will double okay, in so real time. Okay, so you can't hear what I'm hearing, but yep. it's like everything is going like whoa, 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 in my yep. ears right now. So again, we can keep diving deeper into the app. So okay. this is an EQ graph, Yeah. basically zero hertz to up to about 7K. Okay. And this actually gives you the full dynamic range of, uh, well, your hearing goes a little above that, but it allows you to really curate it. So I can turn down the bass, I can turn down the mids, I can turn down the treads on your world, and I can even bump stuff. So let's say you want to bump the mids and add reverb to your world. Huh. Your whole world will sound completely different, <laughs> right, than it did before. And now I sound like I'm in a conference call. A little bit, right? <laughs> but if I just double tap, you'll go right back to zero, right? Yeah. So the whole idea is we want to make it so you can change the world, but then go right back to normal, right? Right. Well, I can, so now I can hear you talking. Can I hear you talking because I can hear through the device when yes. you're not controlling so it? So it's a great Is there question. some sort of like... So, Ability to, so our yeah. zero is actually accounting for the fact that there's something in your ear okay. and making it a natural zero so that it, but again, if you turn it up, it'll be louder. And then right. where you dig really deep is to go even trippier. If I turn you into Carnegie Hall mode, <gasps> yeah. I've been to Carnegie Hall Hall and this is like, it seems just like you're just in an empty concert hall. That's the whole idea. And we can even put you in psychedelic mode, which will make your world sound incredibly <laughs> trippy. <laughs> I love how I just put a dog head filter there. Yep, and then, again, where we keep digging deeper into the app, these are the tune out filters we were talking about, okay. right? So if I turn on Office Loud, the whole point of this is if there was, obviously this is a pretty quiet office, right? but you can hear the reduction in the audio. And similarly, if I put on Subway, obviously there's no screech right now. Okay. But the whole idea is the screech goes away, but you can still hear my voice. And then if you just want binary, you can simply turn on our noise mask and turn down the world. Yeah. yeah. It's going to get a lot quieter. Right? It is really interesting though that I feel like when I'm wearing them, I can hear myself more than I do normally. So, so that's called occlusion. Yeah. And then this first version of the product, right. it's a listening only product. Right? Okay. This is not supposed to be a product, as we talked about, that right. you're supposed to wear all the time. As we evolve, one of the big things we're working on is what we call self voice. So that occlusion effect goes away. But right now it's really about listening. So I'm supposed to sound totally the way you want. You will hear your voice a little louder right. than normal. Because there's right. something in your ear. That's yeah, just... so it is, It is. well no, but when we were in like psychedelic, when yeah. I talked, my voice <laughs> was, was psychedelic, psychedelic too. Of and course. I was like, Because if you ah. think about it, your voice is going out your mouth, mm -hmm. going into your ear, so you're gonna yeah. hear the same stuff, right? Do you think there'd ever be a situation where one, control, one person could control how lots of people in a space are hearing? So we've already created that, we mm. just haven't. Yeah, we okay. call it DJ mode. Cool. The idea is you could actually remix the entire crowd's ears and mm -hmm. hit reverb for all of them, right? Yeah. That's pretty fun. If you are sold on Doppler's here, good luck getting your hands on one. Currently here has an 80,000 person wait list, but the team is hand selecting folks based on stories they submit, or you can get a pair by purchasing a ticket to Coachella. All the R&D takes place in the US. We have a full staff of uh, acoustical designers, audiological engineers, and, and highly skilled DSP engineers. We take pride in being able to choose the smallest components, and then it's a very large puzzle fitting exercise to be able to force them into a much smaller space. This is similar to taking a supercomputer, putting it in a, in, a, in a mobile phone form factor. We just took it a step further. From the very beginning, we knew that we wanted to stay clear of um, uh, you know, stigmatized architectures that you are seeing in the hearing aid world. 
Uh, hearing aids look the way they do for a very particular reason, and, and um, so that was a challenge to kind of find a new architecture that not only would look good, but that would work really well within the ear. We are limited by the battery inside this device, and it takes a highly skilled team cognizant of how long it will last to be able to deliver these technologies. When you're keeping your buds stored away, they're actually automatically charged for you. And so effectively, we're uh, you know, tripling the battery life of the actual bud. And so that's some of the things that we learned by looking at kind of use cases of how people actually use them. We decided we were only going to make 10,000 units because it's essentially it's our concept car. Wearable tech needs to be worn because you can create the coolest stuff in the world in a lab but if people don't want to wear it, you turn into Google Glass. For us though, it really is just the start of this journey. And the next big step for us is Coachella. So we've done a, a major partnership with Coachella to offer here to all Coachella attendees. So we've integrated into each stage. We're creating specific filters. We're gonna have places on the ground where you can actually try the tech. Coachella will be thousands of people using this tech at the same time in one of the most acoustically rich environments. That's an incredible data set for us to really be able to analyze how does this tech really fly? And the goal being after Coachella, we want to go back to our lab, really analyze what worked, what didn't, what people are responding to, and hopefully the goal is to release a mass market product by the end of the year. The question is, what exact feature set will that be? We want that to be a dialogue with the people who are interested in here because we don't want to create this tech in a vacuum. So we really can curate this tech and really make it right for anyone who wants to use it.